konnichiwa, Japanese a mono misa desu. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to say this and that in Japanese. So in the last lesson, I taught you how to say what is this? Do you remember how to say that? Kore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa nan desu ka? Right? So, kore means this. So, for example, if you want to say this is a book, then we say kore wa hon desu. Kore wa hon desu. Kore means this and this wa particle shows what we are talking about. So, kore wa, as for this, speaking of this, I'm going to talk about this hon, a book. This the verb always comes at the end, so this comes at the end to be right. Kore wa hon desu. And if you want to say, is this a book? You simply add the ka particle and say, Kore wa hon desu ka? Kore wa hon desu ka? And that means, is this a book? Pretty simple, right? But you also need to learn. Sore and are once you remember this kore. So kore means this, but we also have sore and are, which mean that. So why do we have two words for that? So are is quite simple. When the object is far from both the speaker and also the listener, you use are. So, for example, if you want to say, da is a car, you say, are wa kuruma desu. Are wa kuruma desu. So, you need to change the ko into a and say, are to mean that thing over there. We also use the word are, like, huh? Well, something wrong. For example, you thought you put a key on the table, but it's not there. You could say, are? Huh, strange. Or you're looking for a wallet inside your bag and you can't find it. You could be like, are? Are? Or you could sometimes also say, are? 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 <laughs> you could jokingly say, are? Are? To your friend when your friend fails at something. So your friend is like, look, I can do a backflip and he fails. You can say, are <laughs> they? Hmm, strange. I thought you can do it. <laughs> anyway, are usually means that thing over there. Are wa kuruma desu. Da is a car. Or if you want to say, da is a house, you say, are wa ie desu. Are wa Ie-des. And we also have this sore, which can be a bit tricky maybe at the beginning. But sore is used about an object that is close to the person you're talking to. So usually the listener. So if I say, this is a book, kore wa hon desu, then the listener or the person I'm talking to has to say, sore wa hon desu, to mean that is a book. That thing that is close to you is a book. Sore wa hon desu. So if you're holding a pen, I would say, sore wa pen desu, to mean that, that thing you're holding is a pen. Sore wa pen desu. But if the pen is slightly closer to me, then I would say, kore wa pen desu. Kore wa pen desu. So the pen doesn't have to be held by someone. It can be on the table, but depending on the distance, you have to use kore or sore. So if it's close to yourself, the speaker, then you use kore. So for example, if I want to say this, is a photograph, then I would say, kore wa 
写真です。これは写真です。But if my friend wants to say, hey, that is a photograph, then she or he will say, それは写真です。それは写真です。So, これ、それ、あれ。And try to move your hands with me. これ、それ、あれ。Okay? これ、それ、あれ。You can also remember like, こうそう、あ、こうそう、あ、こうそう、あ。Okay? これ、それ、あれ。So, これ、それ、あれ is like a family, right? And これ、それ、あれ also has another family member, which is どれ、どれ、どれ。means which one and there has to be more than two options so if there are only two options we actually use another word dotchi which one of two choices uh, dore which one of these things so for example you are looking for a painkiller but there are so many tablets you want to say which one is the painkiller you can say itami dome wa dore desu Itami dome wa dore desu ka? Itami is pain and dome comes from the verb tomeru which means to stop. So it's like stopping the pain. Itami dome. Itami dome. But you can also use the word chintsuzai. But to me it doesn't sound really pretty. <laughs> chintsuzai. Um, So, I usually use the word itami dome, but chintsu zai actually sounds more formal, and doctors would probably use the word chintsu zai instead of itami dome. But I would say itami dome is very common when speaking informally. Anyway, you could say itami dome wa dore desu ka? Or chintsu zai wa dore desu ka? So, you say something wa. As for this, which one is it? Something wa, dore desu ka? To mean which one is, blah blah blah. We haven't learned how to use adjectives, but if you want to, for example, say, which one is the cheapest? You could say, ichiban, which means the most, the best, or number one. Ichi, one. Ban, like number. Ichiban, and then, yasui, is how is it cheap? And if you say, yasui no, I'm going to teach you how to use this no in the next lesson. But, yasui no cheap one wa, the particle, dore desu ka? Ichiban yasui no wa, dore desu ka? Which one is the cheapest? Ichiban yasui no wa, dore desu ka? Ichiban yasui no wa, dore desu ka? Anyway, that's how you can use dore. So back to kore, sore, are, which means this, that, that, right? If you are talking to store clerks, they might use the words kochira, sochira, achira instead. So that's very formal and polite. So if you're a customer, you don't have to speak that formally, but if you're talking to clerks or waitresses, They would use extra formal language like business speech, right? So, if you go to a restaurant, the waiter or the waitress might say, Kochira ga menu desu instead of, Kore ga menu desu to mean, here is the menu, this is the menu, because Kore ga menu desu is formal enough because we use desu, but it's not. Suitable for business. So it might be nice to remember these. Kochira, sochira, achira. Yeah, so kore becomes kochira to make it more formal. Sore becomes sochira. Are becomes achira. Okay? So it's not just adding chi, but re. Becomes ra as well. So, ko, chi, ra, no, ko, chi, re, or 
anything. So, これ、こちら、それ、そちら、あれ、あちら。So you don't have to remember all of these because there's so much information. But you know, if you can, then it's good to remember them too, because you might not use them, but you will hear them in Japan. Also, textbooks usually don't teach you this at this level. But if your brain isn't refusing any more information, <laughs> if you don't think this is too much, you can remember that. So there. Is not just used about something that's close to the listener. So, それ is usually used about something that's close to the listener. But you also use the word それ to refer to the thing that the other person mentioned, and also something that I mentioned earlier. So it's kind of natural to use the word それ about something the other person mentioned. You can say ah that. Is blah blah blah. For example, you tell your friend that you can play piano blindfolded, and your friend can be like, "Wow, you're so talented! Maybe you can also play piano with your feet." <laughs> you can say that is impossible or that I can't do. You want to say それは無理それは無理無理 means impossible or I can't do. So, それは無理 That thing you just mentioned, nah, I can't do it. <laughs> But also, I said that the speaker would also use the word それ about something that the speaker has just mentioned or said earlier. So, for example, I'm talking about why I quit my job, and I'm telling how horrible my boss was, and I would say because of that reason, I quit my job. I would say, それが理由で仕事を辞めた。それが理由で仕事を辞めた。Don't worry if you don't understand this sentence because it's quite advanced. But それ is that, like I that referring to the reason that I mentioned earlier. が理由で that's the reason. 仕事 job or work or やめた I quit informally. So yeah, you don't have to remember this sentence yet, but if you have enough space to remember that, that'd be great too. But don't worry, let's focus on practicing これそれあれ first. Do you remember how to say this is a book and the book is near the speaker? Which one do we use? Kore, sore, are. We use kore. And book, we say hon. So, kore wa hon desu. Kore wa hon desu. What about that is a bag? And the bag is next to the listener or the person I'm talking to. That is a bag. Should we use kore or sore or are? We need to use sore, sore, and a bag. We say kaban, kaban. So sore wa kaban des. Sore wa kaban des. What about that? Is a table. And the table is far from both of us. We use are for that thing over there, and table we say table, table. It's obviously from English. Table. <laughs> we can't pronounce L, or we don't have the sound L in Japanese, so. We don't say table. We say table. <laughs> okay, so that is a table. Are wa table des. Are wa table des. What about these are shoes? 
we don't really think about singular or plural in Japanese. So even if it's these, we use this. Kore. So, these are shoes. Shoes, we say. Kutsu. Kutsu. So, these are shoes. And the shoes are close to the speaker. We say. Kore wa kutsu desu. Kore wa kutsu desu. What about that is an umbrella and the listener is holding the umbrella. That is an umbrella. Umbrella in Japanese is the same word as the house in Spanish. So, casa is how we say umbrella. Casa. So, sore wa casa desu. Sore wa casa desu. And what about this is medicine. So we already had the word for painkiller, which is pretty hard. I don't know if you remember it, but we say pain stopping, right? Itami dome. But generally, we just use the word for medicine when talking about tablets, pills, or painkillers. We don't really specify what the medicine is for. We just say, kusuri, kusuri. So even if you're talking about painkillers, you just use the word kusuri most of the time. If you look up the word tablet in the dictionary, you might get the word jōzai, which does mean tablet, but we don't really use it. Sure, it refers to the medicine that's shaped as tablets rather than, you know, like the capsules. But usually we use the word kusuri, kusuri, which means medicine. And in English, you don't really use the word medicine. You say, ah, oh, I have to take my tablet. I have to take my pill. I have to take a painkiller. You are more specific. <laughs> in Japanese, we say kusuri, medicine. So this is medicine, we say. Kore wa kusuri desu. Kore wa kusuri desu. Alright, in the next lesson, we are going to learn how to use kono, sono, ano, which also mean this and that, but you have to use them in a different way. So make sure you take notes for this lesson and hope to see you soon. じゃあまたね。バイバイ。